too. So I did just want to share, you know, stopping and resting and recognizing that you might need some rest is not weak and it's not going to stop your forward progress. In fact, it reminds me of, I go back to the metaphor of running a lot because it's something that I know and it's something that I've been through. But sometimes when you're running, if you stop and walk and just take a breather for a second, you actually end up running overall faster than you would have if you didn't take that break at all. And so wherever you are at right now, it's okay if you need to, to stop and take a break. It is totally okay to do that. And in fact, in doing that, it might allow you to take a breather and step back and look at how far you have actually come. Take a second to recognize where you're at, what you've been through, what you faced, and where you are. We have all been through probably, probably the hardest year of your life. It's possible that you've, that you've had worse, but for many of us, this has been, this has literally been the hardest year of our lifetimes. And it's okay to stop and really recognize I've been through a lot of crap and I'm still standing on my two feet. No matter what your year was like, all of us have had different trials over this past year, but we've all come through a boatload of stuff. And so take, take a second, take a second to even, I know it's been a hard year of where celebration even feels kind of weird. And there's some guilt sometimes around celebrating, but take some time to celebrate it. And in fact, that's actually what my husband, Joey, and I are doing this week is taking time to actually celebrate. Wow. Like we have actually accomplished so many things over this past year. And yes, it hasn't been what we thought it would be. It hasn't been a lot of the things that we wanted to happen, weren't able to happen. We still can't do a lot of the things that we really want to be doing. We can't spend time with the people who we really want to spend time with, but look at all of the things that have happened. And we're really going to celebrate the things that we have made happen. So I invite you actually to take that moment for yourself to do a little bit of the same. And my friend, Rachel, who has been on the podcast in the past, if you haven't listened to that episode, it was one of the very first episodes with Rachel Chamley. You know, she is the one who said, Jen, stop and literally celebrate the things that have happened in your life. And I think I needed somebody to just wake me up and, and give me a little shake and say, just live in the moment for just a second, just stop and really, really celebrate that. And it makes me wonder if I needed to hear that, how many other people need to hear this exact same message? Look how far you've come. Look truly, truly look how far you've come. And look at that in a way like if this was your friend who had made it through all of the things that you've made it through this year, what would you say to them? And say that to yourself. Say that to yourself. Look how far you've come. 